What's up, guys? Welcome back to Shane's Movie Reviews. Shane here, joined once again by Chloe. Hey, guys. And today we are not doing a movie review. Instead, we're just going to be talking about movies and movie theaters in general. Chloe is at the Regal Cinema. I am at AMC. We're representing our brands. And obviously, as you guys know, everything is shut down. Theaters are shut down. They're not making money. And the past few days, AMC has come out and said, we're not paying rent. Uh, they're currently bankrupt in the sense of the word. They have not filed for bankruptcy yet. But as of right now, they don't have money to keep their doors open. And who knows when they will ever open their doors again. Uh, it's kind of scary to think about, honestly, that movie theaters could just die. Yeah, I think that's kind of been like an idea for a while now. And I think this is putting in a sort of real sense, you know, with like Netflix, Hulu, even before that, whenever Redbox came out, there was talk of like movie theaters not really being so popular anymore because now people can just watch movies for a, a lot cheaper and in the comfort of their own home. So I feel like this really kind of puts it in like real life. Oh my gosh, movie theaters really could be closing, you know? Obviously, we do the movie reviews remotely now. We're watching them on our own, on our laptops, or on our TVs. What are your thoughts on not being able to go to the movie theater, seeing that movie on the big screen, instead of having to hunch over your laptop, watching it by yourself, albeit sometimes when we go to the movies, there's only four other people there anyway, but what's, what's the difference like in experience? I don't know. I definitely feel like not going to the movie theaters anymore is just like makes me sad because it's the whole experience it's like, you know going out you know putting away everything else not talking and just focusing on this movie on a ginormous screen and there's you know a lot of noise and it's like the best way to watch a movie it really is but now that we can't do that anymore watching it on a laptop that lags sometimes it doesn't always work just really sucks kind of ruins yeah, no, you, you, said it, you said it perfectly. Uh, honestly, you go to the movie theater for a distraction-free environment. You obviously see the advertisements before the movie that say, don't talk, don't ruin the movie. When you're home, things happen. You know, pets are around. They, they want your attention. Siblings want your attention. Parents want your attention. It's so hard to focus in on a movie, watching it at home, and be able to give it your proper attention without having to worry about all the things around you going on. And it's frustrating to think that all these could just eventually die. Chloe, I know you mentioned it before, but do you think that we've seen the last of movie theaters as we know it? Is, is the future all on demand? I don't think it's entirely on demand. Sure, movie theaters are dying out. That is a fact. They're, you know, not as popular as they used to be. But I feel like they're not going to die out completely because there are people like us who still would go to the movies, but I feel like they're going to decrease in numbers a lot. Yeah, and we have the unlimited passes for Regal, and I am an AMC A-list member, and we'll get into that in a little bit about paying for that service. But obviously, as we see now, as I try to go through my notes here, it's it's you know hard to think when we'll ever see a world again obviously it will happen eventually that isn't in quarantine that isn't limiting people from going out and having fun and doing stuff i i mean my big question is what when are we going to be able to go to the movies again at what point in time do you do you see us sitting in a theater again together watching it watching a movie on the big screen i mean it's really hard i would like to think as soon as possible but i feel like right now we kind of have to take things on like a day-to-day week-to-week basis and it's just so difficult I don't know I would really hope we would be able to go within like two months that's really what I'm hoping for I don't know it's tough it's been three weeks about three weeks now since AMC Regal all those theaters shut their doors and I know their their main thing was we'll be shut we'll be shut down until June June was the date uh obviously movies have been pushed back there's nothing coming out for at least two and a half months, I think, right now. I think uh, SpongeBob movie was the last one to get fully pushed back till the end of July. And we're just at the point right now where we don't feel safe to leave our houses. We don't feel safe to go to the grocery store without wearing a mask, without wearing gloves, without worrying about who's been where, who's been associated, affiliated with. 
anyone who's been affected by the virus. Chloe, personally, when do you feel safe to go back to the movie theater, regardless of when they open their doors again? Well, I know for for me, I live in Kansas City, Missouri right now, and you're living back home in New York. And for you, it's a lot worse right now. And I feel like it will get better sooner for you than it will for me. Um, I feel like it's kind of, it's really different everywhere. Honestly, I feel like you'll be able to go to the movies before I will. Yeah, I, I, you know, you could say that we are supposed to reach the the apex of this whole thing by the end of this week. And then hopefully the curve has flattened enough where we can see a decrease in hospitalizations all around. And obviously movie theaters are not at the forefront of everyone's attention right now. It's kind of in the in the aftermind of what everyone's worrying about at this current moment, um, obviously, as we go along here. But we, again, like we mentioned before, you have the Regal Unlimited Pass, which is $20 a month. I have that pass too, and I'm also an AMC Stubbs member, which is another $20 a month. So I was already paying $40 in general just to go to the movies an unlimited amount of times as much as I wanted to without having to worry about any extra expenses and getting rewarded for that in the process. Do you see yourself, once you reach the end term of your Regal subscription, renewing that again with the uncertainty that maybe this happens again, maybe we have to worry about movie theater shutting down for good and you lose some money potentially? Well, I don't know. I feel like with this unlimited pass that we bought, it's around $20, but we go to the movies. Well, we we did. We used to, on average, at least four times a month. And that's definitely getting your money's worth. Um, I am happy, though, that obviously we're not being charged for our subscription right now because movie theaters are closed. If we were getting charged, obviously, I'd be mad about it. But I'm not really upset right now. I think once my subscription, you know, is over my one-year subscription i will get a new one because i still like going to the movies unless they're going to be closed permanently i'm like for good i'm still going to keep on getting that you know yearly subscription i agree i see no reason why to not renew it especially with the with the way that regal and amc are handling the situation right now they put a freeze on everyone's account so they don't have to worry about being charged uh obviously you wouldn't want to get charged for not going to the movies that would make sense And yes, I will continue to renew my subscription for both of them. I do feel like supporting the movie theaters, especially in a time like this. I was willing to pay AMC's uh, price because they have a new on-demand service that they use, AMC On Demand, and you can rent any movie that's been in the movie theater, especially Birds of Prey, Invisible Man, The Huns, all those movies are now on AMC On Demand. And I thought it would have been beneficial for them if they took those movies and said, listen, if you're an AMC A-list rewards member, You can use your three free movies a week on these on-demand rentals. That would, while it would take away from them getting the profit of the renting fee, they would still be able to charge people um, $20 a month. So maybe if they wanted to cut it down to three movies, rentals a month, and they can still charge people that amount of money, they'd maybe be able to keep their doors uh, securely open without having to worry about bankruptcy. But just wrapping it up a little bit here, do you see, Clo, an end Uh, a light to the end of this tunnel do you see an end to this coming eventually and a time where we can just walk into a movie theater get a popcorn and go enjoy a movie again i really i i do i'm very hopeful i'm you know really trying to be positive about this obviously it's kind of hard right now because we're stuck inside we're kind of going stir crazy and i feel like we really took normal life for granted before this all happened um, I wish I appreciated more whenever we could just go to the movies. Um, but I I know this will probably happen again. Um, like they said, there will probably be another surge in cases in the fall or maybe in a few years. But I feel like we should just really enjoy life as much as we can right now. Absolutely. And I do agree. I do see a light at the end of the tunnel. I do think we'll get out of this eventually and be able to enjoy ourselves again, go see our loved ones, go hang out with friends, go be able to do everything that we enjoy doing in life. Uh, and, you know, let's end it on a little bit of a happier note because we don't want to, we don't want to be doom and gloom here. What movie are you most excited to see uh, in theaters once everything reopens again? Oh my gosh. Okay. Quiet Place 2. Yeah. That is what I am. This is what I've been waiting for. And I was so sad when I heard that I got pushed back. But now I'm just like, I'm ready to get back in there. And like, I need to watch it. <laughs> we, were, <laughs> what we, about were, you? we were all ready to see A Quiet Place 2, uh, a double feature with Quiet Place 
the first one and then followed up with the quiet place the second one and then literally the week before we found out all this everything shut down everything just went to dust and now we have to wait until september uh and i have i have a few i have a few movies that i'm excited to see tenant obviously um it's slated for late july i'm really hoping it doesn't get pushed back i know marketing and advertising it's hard to do that without anyone going outside without anyone going to the movie theaters and seeing trailers for it but it, i'd really love to see tenant uh make its debut on time the conjuring the devil made me do it the third conjuring movie very excited about i love the first two conjuring movies uh the whole horror genre september and october are stacked with horror movies we got spiral coming out starring eddie murphy uh, not not eddie murphy chris rock what am i saying um then we have uh halloween kills the sequel to the halloween movies with jamie lee curtis we have what else do we have we have the conjuring movie um there's a big one i'm missing i don't know what am i missing yeah. and and quiet place quiet place comes out at the same exact time so we have we have just uh, a great flow of horror movies for september and october it's a shame that other movies got pushed back so far uh fast and furious 9 all the way to next april um it's 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 really it's heartbreaking to see you know releases that are ready to go and you're just so amped up to see it and then you just have to wait and the anticipation maybe it'll build but maybe it'll die off people will be less interested it'll be really interesting to see how uh people and well, companies mainly will keep this momentum going for their movies coming out so far in advance with especially fast and furious nine people have seen so many trailers so many sneak peeks of the movie what are you going to keep reshowing uh, for for a good part of a year in advance so that'll be interesting uh chloe do you have anything else to say in regards to movie theaters i just want to say i miss it i want to go back as soon as possible <laughs> i'm like addicted i like i like need it back that's <laughs> I really agree. Am. It was, it was a, I really loved the escape of reality of going to the movie theater, going to watch a new movie every week. It was something that you and I both enjoyed doing. We missed the car reviews. We missed, you know, being able to, to either rat on a movie right after we see it or praise it after, after seeing it in our favorite theaters. But I think that's going to be it for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this little impromptu video. If you enjoy something like this, that's not a review, let us know in the comments below. I'd love to keep doing these. Maybe we can do other stuff in the future, hitting on different topics like other movies we're excited to see when they come out, uh, movies that we hope don't come out uh, and just get pushed to on demand because we have no interest in seeing them. So we'll keep you guys updated. And of course, we'll keep the movie reviews going. And as always, peace out.